assuming that Jamison Williams and Jordan Davis are not on the board. And the Chargers already brought in a couple of very talented run stuffers in Johnson. I, I believe Austin Johnson is his first name. And uh, Sebastian Joseph Day, obviously, who we know from the Rams. He's one of, if not the best, nose tackles at stopping the run in football. The reason why the Chargers struggled last season was they couldn't stop the run and they couldn't scheme the way they wanted to because they couldn't stop the run. And if you can't stop the run, you're not going to win football games. It's as simple as that. You look at the Bucks who won the Super Bowl. They can stop the run. You look at the Rams. They can certainly stop the run. I mean, what happened against the Bengals in the Super Bowl? Okay, Aaron Donald, sure. But Aaron Donald can stop the run. You don't run the ball Aaron Donald's away with uh, Samaji Piran. But that's besides the point, man. So if you're asking what Charger fans are telling me, it's that Jordan Davis, Jameis Williams, any, anyone besides those two, I don't want to talk about trade down. My last video, we spoke about a mock draft, and it had the Chargers trading down for the 22nd pick and selecting an edge rusher by the name of Jermaine Johnson the second out of FSU. Why, though? Khalil Mack, we've got him for the next three years. Joey Bosa obviously isn't going anywhere. Why would you take an edge rusher? The reason why the Packers in this situation traded for 17 was to take the guy that you don't want as the Chargers. Like being real. And then also Chris Olave in this simulation was available at 22. So not only did you pass on Jamison Williams, who when he transferred put up 1,500 yards on 75 catches. He's 6'2", 190. It just, he's an absolute you know, Tyree kill game changing speed. Mike Williams and Keenan Allen, they're not alpha wide receivers. Like Keenan Allen had an amazing season, but he's getting older. Like this might be the last season that we get from Keenan Allen. And he, like, Keenan Allen isn't as good as Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson. And I mean, if Jalen Waddle had Justin Herbert throwing in the football, I, I, I'm not going to say that because I'm going to sound stupid, but if Jalen Waddle was on the Chargers, he'd be better than Keenan Allen right now. I, I, I don't even care if I get hate for that, bro. You could dislike it, but I'm just saying like Justin Herbert, he makes players look a lot better than they are. But like what happens when Justin Herbert is playing with an actually – true wide receiver one like look what jamar chase brought to the bengals they went to the super bowl they don't they don't even come they don't make the playoffs without jamar chase are you kidding me they take someone else at that pick take take panay so well they don't make the playoffs it's just simply factual james williams has that type of game-changing athleticism on the field to where i can promise you jermaine johnson the second does not have that and like let's just take a look at him so yeah, the Chiefs, they wanted to trade. This is hypothetically speaking, this isn't real, but the Chiefs, they wanted to trade for the 70th pick, and ultimately they went up with uh, the Packers because they have uh, two firsts, and uh, they also have two seconds after the Devontae Adams trade. So, yeah, they were looking to replace him. And it makes, like, the Packers, they, they did bring in... Well, no, because didn't MBS go to the Chiefs? So, they yeah, they're struggling at receiver right now. So they're definitely going to take a receiver in... Maybe they gamble and hope that Olave's there at 22, but we don't know if he will be. But honestly, like if you look at like Darian Kennard in the second round out of Kentucky, like we know he can play right tackle. He's proven that. Like that's a fine pick. Calvin Austin the third out of Memphis. I don't know, man. I didn't want to debate. Like I woke up my this morning and checked my phone, and I didn't want to debate people because like ah, it's so exhausting doing that, but. Like, Calvin Austin, like, to compare him to Jamison Williams is laughable. Like, I don't care if he's where he's lining up at the slot. Like, he's five foot seven, And Jamison Williams has actually, like, better speed than he does. Maybe not 40-yard dash, but, like, if we're going off of in-game speed, he is a – he's just, he's 6'2". He's 6'2". I don't understand how you can not take Jamison Williams in the first round and be like, we're getting Calvin Austin at the ground. One, you don't know if Calvin Austin will be there. And two, like Calvin Austin it will play special teams in the NFL. Like he's not he's not gonna be this deep threat wide receiver. Like you had, why not just keep Jalen Guyton? Like is I don't I just don't get it, man. I don't get it. This is what I'm seeing personally, but you know, taking a tackle in the second round, sure. But why do you need to trade down to get another pick? Like like even if you trade down and get the twenty second pick, if like Chris Olave, I would be fine with Chris Olave. I just feel like the Chargers, they their defense is already so good. Like they brought in Sebastian Joseph Day, who is one of the best nose tackles in football against the run. They brought in Austin Johnson. They they brought in J.C. Jackson, who has the most picks in the last three years. You know, three four years. 
And those are just the moves at the top of my head. Like they obviously have done more moves and they're go only going to, you know, getting started from here. But honestly, it's like, you know, Marcus Jones, he is a 5'8 corner. There were, someone made a good point that he could play the slot. Like that's fine if you're a 5'8 corner. How tall is Kenny Moore? He's a all pro slot corner. He's, he can't be taller than 5'8, five, 5'9. Five, five, and then obviously, you know, Conquo tight end, like that that's fine. But like, I don't have an issue with the Chargers taking any of these players deep in the trap because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter who you take in the fifth, sixth, and the seventh round. I'm not saying like those players are irrelevant, but you're just looking for depth and like serviceable players. But, you know, when we're talking the first round, like I don't understand how you can take Jermaine Johnson the second over Chris Olave because we're talking about players that are ready to just come in right away for the Chargers and help them win. Like, this offensive tackle, like, we know he can do that. We know he can come in and play right tackle for the Chargers and help them win and protect Herbert. But, like, to me, I'd rather go out there and draft a tackle, like, in the third or the fourth round or just sign one in free agency than I would be like, oh, let's not take Jamison Williams because we need a right tackle. Like, yeah, let's pass on Jamar Chase because we need an offensive line. Like, the Bengals, if they had passed on Jamar Chase because they need offensive line, we'd be like, those guys are morons. Well, that's going to be the Chargers if they don't take James Williams. I don't know. If, I don't think Chris Olave is going to be in the alpha. Like, there's no way Chris Olave is going to be an alpha wide receiver, but he'd be a damn good wide receiver too, next to either Keenan Allen or Mike Williams, or he could be the third one. But yeah, I mean, that's kind of, that's kind of, you know, what I have going on right now. Honestly, uh, I'm just going off of the comments that I got, you know, no one was saying anything crazy, but I just wanted to respond to those type of comments because, you know, the draft is, it's not even, not even a month away, man. Like it's in April, the NFL draft and the chargers right now, they have 10 picks and they've got a couple of holes. They definitely need to upgrade their linebacker core. I know Kenneth Murray jr. A lot of charger fans aren't big on him. He hasn't really lived up to expectations. And, you know, outside of that, they don't, they don't have like any good linebackers. Uh, they did improve their front. I feel like, you know, they could definitely add, like, if Jordan Davis is at 17, they're 100% taking him. They're not going to trade down. They, I don't even think they'll, they'll probably trade down when they're on the clock. Because, like, why would you, you're not going to go into the draft and be like, the Chargers are trading down. And then at 17, it's like, ah, no, Jordan Davis is there. Like, they're not going to do that. They're going to obviously wait. That's kind of common sense. But, yeah, man, I definitely like you know, what the Chargers are doing. The thing about it is like the draft is going to be very important because they already have a good team, but now it's more about like building depth around the good team and building depth for the future so that when the time comes and like Khalil Mack is getting older and Boza and Kino and like we make sure that we have depth behind these guys. So I'm going to end it here before my phone dies and I lose this storage, bro. But thank you guys for watching. It means a lot. Have a good rest of your day and let me know your thoughts on the video. If you haven't already, man, subscribe, bro. Love to have you. Drop a like at the video at the more charter fans and bolt up.